All right, everyone, welcome back once again to the channel. Here we are after some time of not being able to react. I have been very busy with projects. Uh, I'm currently doing a mural um, in somebody's property in a backyard. Um, it's going super great, but I have been uh, devoting most of my day to that um, just to get a lot of progress in and a short amount of time that I've got. So I'm really sorry I haven't been able to record or even do some editing to be able to upload, to be able to upload these videos. Um, but we are back here once again. I have some time today and what I want to do is react to short horror videos. Okay, so this is actually, uh, these are very short videos are about a minute or like 30 seconds long, but they're a series of short horror videos. These videos are done by Max Verahin. Okay, um, I'm actually, I just subscribed to his channel because it looks like he's got some pretty, pretty scary content on here and they're all animated short videos. Very short, like I said, like 30 minutes, 30 seconds to a minute. Um, but it's definitely, it definitely contains a lot of the material that I love to see. I'm actually going to jump into these videos. Uh, so we're going to check out a couple today, um, back to back. And, uh, I'm going to start with this one called Lure. Okay. So this looks a little trippy. I see the thumbnail right now. I'm really excited to check out, uh, check it out, jump into it. So, uh, without further ado, oh, and by the way, um, I should have my video up already by this point my uh, speed process drawing for the uh, prosthetic leg that I just did. It was my first time doing one of those projects, so I'm really excited to show it to all of you. Uh, so, you know, uh, check out that video. If you're already watching this, hopefully you already checked it out. If you have not, check it out. Um, I will have it in the end of this video here on the top or on the side somewhere around me uh, popped up there. So you can go ahead and click on that and check out the process. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these videos and check them out. So as you all know, let's get scared. Oh my gosh. Oh my kid, do you not see this? Just magically dendy? What is that? Like a board game? Or this? Oh no. <gasps> Do you see that twitch? <gasps> oh! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that's so scary. <gasps> oh, yo. <laughs> what? What in the heck did I just watch? What did I just watch, man? Dude. <laughs> This was really, really cool to watch. I'm not going to lie to you, but it was so disturbing to check this out. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just saw this. The animation on this, the design on the character is just, oh man, it was so disturbing. The whole like idea of somebody outside your window just watching you and you don't even notice, especially during nighttime, that is terrifying, downright terrifying, you know? I really enjoyed this one. Uh, but I will give an overall review over uh, uh, after the uh, series of videos that I watched. That one was definitely scary. That scared the heck out of me. Freaked me out. Distur it was just straight up disturbing. I can't believe I just saw this. Especially a child getting brutally, you know, murdered this way. I, oh my gosh. That was terrible. That was ter It was very short and it was effective. But, you know, oh, I'm going to go on and on here. So let's go ahead and jump into the next one. Okay. What is that? <gasps> Alright, let's see that again. Hold on. Let's see that again. <gasps> Yo! Okay, man, that one was pretty short. It looked like a like a teaser trailer. That looked excellent. It looks like some kind of parasite that, that uh, took over a, a dead body that was 
it was brutally mutilated it looked like like the face was gone and then all these pieces of, or parts of the body were just like missing or flesh was missing all this other stuff was going on that looked pretty awesome right i would really want to play a game like this just i got to tell you guys this is stuff i really enjoy but let's check this next, this next one out this one is called il hall scene okay so it looks like it's from the same type of um like franchise or story uh but it, it looks like they're in a different location so let's let's go ahead and check this one out it looks like first person oh man <gasps> oh my gosh oh is this is this from a game i've seen this before is it from a game oh my goodness it just throws throw things at you <gasps> look how fast he came out dude that one's gonna creep up that one's gonna creep up i know it oh no oh the head look at the head completely severed head severed off oh my god Unreal Engine. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I had no idea this is from a game. Uh, it's, it's from a company called Clout Games, all right? I, I knew I saw footage like this before, um, but I had no idea it was a game, an actual game. This looks amazing. We're going to check out at least a couple more clips, just a small amount of clips of uh, this game. And uh, so I don't know if the first video, I think it was just a, you know, a fan-made animation. I have to look back and check. But so far, I'm really enjoying this horror stuff. This gruesome stuff. I love how creative these artists are to really disturb us and make us feel super uncomfortable. This, you know, like that last one that reminded me of, uh, it reminded me of, well, you know, the short trailer we saw, it kind of reminded me of Slither, you know, where these, like, you know, all these slugs or whatever, they, they take over people's brains. And yeah, it, it really reminded me of that. It doesn't matter if their face is missing or all these things are missing. They take over the brain or whatever it is, the body. And then, or even like Dead Space, you know, take over the body and just, yeah. Oh my gosh, but I'm enjoying this. Let's check out some more. Let's jump into some more. I'm really, really liking this, so. Oh, oh! Oh my god! Jeez Louise! What is happening? Look at the arm hanging, look at the hand! Wow! Amazing. Let's look at that again. Oh my gosh! Get the blood and the flesh. Look at all that stuff breaking apart. Just Dude, the human element is just gone here. All right, you guys, we're going to check out this last one. I, I have been looking at some game footage. So, um, you know, if you're watching this in the video, I made it without any copywriting or anything. But I'm afraid I was afraid, you know, before this video, I, I'm like over here afraid that I might get copyrighted. So if you're watching this on YouTube, then I didn't get copyrighted or I it was safe enough for me to post. But I was reacting to some of the, uh, you know, cutscenes, like two cutscenes, I think, or three cutscenes from the game Ill. I had no idea about that game. I honestly thought this was part of this person's channel, but they're just, it looks like they're just promoting some of the scenes of the game in their channel. But uh, I <laughs> I really am interested in that game. I wanna definitely check out that game. I'm a huge fan of, of all this stuff. So we're gonna do one more. Okay, this one is actually from the, you know, from the person in the channel here. Um, it is a very sh uh, short story, their, their very first short story. And this is exactly what I wanna do as well. Uh, it is called, all father okay my first short horror story so it is by the same youtuber Verahin. okay and before we watch this man i am enjoying your content i hope you're, you uh, and upload more of this stuff more disturbing content like this i really enjoy it as long as it's all fake and it's fantasy and it's computer generated and all that even if it's live action i know it's still fake i hate looking at realistic stuff that's like this it's it's it just it makes my heart feel sick but this kind of stuff i know it's fake so I, as long as that's fake, I really enjoy it. You know, all that stuff. So keep it coming, man. So let's check this last one out. All Father, my first short story. Jeez. Oh my God, what is he eating? 
okay, so these are just these are just clips. Uh, not clips, um, like photos, still shots. God, look at these people. Straight up from the hills have eyes and all of that stuff. They're eating parts of something? Is it, are they human parts or? Oh my gosh. Look at the slime on the teeth right here. What? Ooh. Oh. Looks like they're feeding this big dude here. What in the... All right, everyone, there you have it. We watched a couple of these short horror stories. Now, obviously, one of them was a game, and the other one was uh, looked like fan-made stories from this YouTuber. Dude, we need more of this content. I need more of this content. I love this stuff. This this last one we watched, it looks like there was it was this gigantic, you know, uh, inhumane, like, god type being that they were praising it looked like you know when they were offering their all of this food to to that freak that thing whatever it was um all of these people in this in this abandoned house it looked like i don't know but um whatever it was man good use of of color like all these colors are just you know desaturated they're very gray scaled almost uh it just it fits the whole like horror you know criteria all of this other stuff like it, it just fits perfectly, man. And the good design of characters, uh, right? They all look dirty and they look like they smell and uh, that, given that they just don't care about their, you know, uh, what is it called? Their hygiene or any of that stuff. You know, they're just, <laughs> they're just living life. And it looked like they were cooking like vegetables or something and, and mixed with like meat, some, some, some kind of meat that belonged to something. I don't know, man, but all of this stuff, man, I love it. I enjoyed it. All of these things. And the game Ill, uh, it looks like I'm going to have to look into that. Now, I don't know if it's released yet or not. Uh, I have to look into that. I really did not know about this game. I did see uh, that clip where uh, where it's the first person, where, you know, person's walking through the through this hall and you see all these, all these zombies eating this person or whatever, ripping them apart. I saw that clip, but I just, you know, totally forgot about it. And then when I saw it again, I was like, oh, hey, I've seen this. So then I'm like, is, this, is a, this is a game, right? Anyways. But as for the first video I watched with this creepy creature pulling this kid out the window, man, that was disturbing to watch, man. That was just plain disturbing. And then it looks like a couple uh, seconds later, the mother comes in thinking the kid made sound or something, made a noise, you know, calling him an idiot and all that. And <laughs> you can tell that, I don't know, that household was terrible, I think. But that mom comes out and and then we see this, this creepy figure just floating into the window, like, so so serene like flawlessly like <laughs> and just coming in and taking them like yanking the mother off out of the window too it's like dude and, you know when you hear this scream fading out like you wonder where is this thing taking them i think the the scariest thing about these films is like if somebody's getting pulled away or yanked away if they're gone out of sight you know and you're left to the imagination of what is this thing going to do with these people obviously and i think in this case it was just going to eat them but it's you know like you look back maybe later on and you see results of like parts of their you know bodies just there remaining and all or, or whatever just flesh whatever left behind somewhere and and just makes you really just think so just the disturbing idea of it taking these innocent people and and you know you're thinking what are they going to do with what's it going to do with these people it's like that is highly disturbing highly horrifying but you know, I can't help but really enjoy this stuff. It really, it really makes me feel like a weird type of joy. But it's because I just love the whole. Uh, it really does fit into horror. It, it's disturbing to watch, and the the characters, the more disturbing they are to look at, even better, man, even better. Uh, so, and then you can get you can do a lot with animation, with with the CGI or with Unreal Engine, whatever you're using. You can do so much with that. It's like you can make the characters like you know do whatever you want with these characters. Just like I saw some of these cutscenes. Um, again, hopefully you can check these out. If you're checking these out now, I, you know, I'm good. I didn't get copyrighted, but, um, you know, uh, yeah. So, I mean, like these cutscenes that we saw from the game ill, you know, that like with the, with the man morphing and you see this thing coming out of him, like we, I, I've seen practical effects on that with like the fly, you know, the movie, the fly, if y'all haven't seen that, check it out. The original, the fly, not, I think it was the 1980s in the 1980s, they did the fly. 1985 or something like that. Anyways, in the 80s, there's this movie with called The Fly with uh, Jeff Goldblum. 
and it's amazing. I love the story, and then what they did with the practical effects. It was very similar to what we just saw with that cutscene with the with with this monster ripping out of this out of this man's face. We we saw that in the fly. Well done, man. So I respect both uh, more more practical effects because it's very difficult to do that. I can imagine. But, you know, obviously when you see this in Unreal Engine, computer does a lot for you, but I know it's still not very easy to do. Um, it still requires effort and all these things from animators and all that, and time and work and concentration. So I love looking at both practical and, and uh, you know, digital effects. Just beautiful, man, beautiful. So, uh, yeah, I like that kind of stuff. I love it all. I enjoyed this last one too, and then we didn't really see any, any you know, it wasn't video or, or whatever. It was just all photograph stills. And uh, sometimes even that's just good enough. I mean, we it leaves it up to the viewer to connect, you know, the rest of the missing, uh, you know, the rest of the missing images and make make movement out of them. You know what I mean? So it's like I love even this last one if it's like narrated, or just you know we just see photos with no narration at all whatsoever, no dialogue, no nothing. Like in this case, we just saw photos and we had the music in the background, the creepy music that was really effective. So dude, uh. Yeah, man. Um, keep posting. I, I can't wait to see more. You know, this is a uh, very uh, Yeah, man. I can't wait to see more of your stuff, dude. Good job. I'm subscribed to your channel and you are inspiring me as well as an artist. So thank you so much for this content. I hope you all enjoyed this with me and you can actually check out the videos yourselves if you would like to down in the description below. Click on those links and check them out for yourselves and give this person a follow. Check out more of their artwork that they have and uh, other videos. Excellent work. Um, but again, you know, age restricted. I mean, I, I would say don't get your, don't have your kids watch this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, you know, just be very careful. Uh, but yeah, you know, I think what I watched so far is just, it's just it really is just violent. There's really no adult content in there. It's just violent stuff, you know. But anyways, it's pretty bad violent stuff. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching this with me. I hope y'all take care of yourselves and stay tuned for a try not to laugh. Okay, so uh, I think I found a pretty good video. Uh, challenge myself. So, thanks for watching. Hope y'all take care of yourselves and hit that subscribe button and share this with your friends. Let them know what we're doing over here. Do speed drawing. We're doing reactions. All right. And pretty soon, I'm gonna do um, maybe some Twitch gaming or some small tutorials on you know drawing pretty simple things. So, all in time, all in time. But thank you so much for watching this so far. Hope you have a great day. Take care.